something do any day I will know right away soon as it shows. I love that song. You know what I'm so sick of? I'm so sick of waiting for things to happen. And I've got to tell you, things are about to happen. It's so exciting. Life is coming back downtown in new and fun ways, in old and fun ways. We've got Jazz on Jay coming back on Thursdays, that music that you've loved at your lunch hour. We've got this, right? Virtual Kids Arts Fest getting us ready for a live Kids Arts Fest. It's so exciting. On Saturday, September 25th, right outside City Hall, we will welcome you back to Live Kids Arts Fest, unless it's raining, in which case do not come on the 25th, come on the 26th, and it will be at Gateway Plaza that day. But either way, we are gonna see you live. Something's coming, I don't know what it is, but it is gonna be great. We cannot wait to see you. June 5th starts Arts Week. We'll start with a mural. Here is a peek. Wouldn't it be nice to have a mural here? Yeah, something more than just a boring old wall. You mean something like this? That looks cool, but wouldn't it be expensive? We've got sponsors. When are the other days? Have you got something else planned? Mm. Something we don't know about? Nope. We can get it done in a few weeks if we get people to help. Do I need to bring anything? Nope, we'll have all the stuff we need thanks to these spots. Go to the Create Community Studios or Friends of the Mohawk Hudson Bike Hike Trail websites or Facebook pages to find out more information or even just to watch this mural come become a reality. Join us to brighten Schenectady, one mural at a time. Do you have brains in your head? Do you have feet in your shoes? You can walk, if you're old enough, by yourself, any direction you choose. In downtown Schenectady, you will find your muse. What's a muse? Inspiration. Something that makes you think, 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 think. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, there's some kind of art every day of the week. We've got a theme to bring us together, to connect every day, whatever the weather. It's community. Emphasize those last syllables three. Come out during Arts Week and you will see art that is made for and by you and me. If you're like me and drawing is hard, does it take too much thought to create even a card? Yep, I feel so outsmarted. Lots of stores will have kits to help get you started. Find all the spots, collect all the kits. Be artsy at home and you may win an arts gift. You'll look up and down streets, Look them over with care. Look for the art, it's everywhere. Outside, things can happen and frequently do to kids as brainy and footsie as you. Sunday, June 6th is a day. At the Schenectady Green Market, art will be every which way. Tell me, just what will we do? We'll brighten a fence from 10 until 2 and listen to chime. What's chime? It's a smile to your soul, even when you live on Mount Crumpet. It's a whole bunch of kids who can play a trumpet. Can they play a viola? I think they oughta. What about the sax? Of course, those are facts. What about a tuba? Of course, hallelujah. Can they play a flute? Yes, 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 all your questions are mute. How much does this cost? How much will I pay? Nothing. Not one red cent, one thin dime. You have to pay artists, they need to live. We will, thanks to sponsors who give, 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 give. Well, okay then. But what if it rains? Go to our Facebook page. And if it is sunny? Downtown Schenectady is your stage. Do you like to sculpt or build? I am rather unskilled. So what, we can help you. Well, then I'd be thrilled. What about music? 
I like that a lot. Good, because it's twice on June 10th. And where is the spot? On J Street by Johnny's at noon. And by the Electric City Art Gallery at four. Come out and discover some wonderful art. Film screenings and poetry. And that's only the start. If you're looking for something more to do, an open studio hour may just be for you. Meet all the artists, become one yourself, discover a whole world of creative wealth. Whether mural painting is more your style, or dance classes, author signings, come down and stay a while. To enjoy live music galore, just get up, get out, and head out your door. If you must stay in, register for the India Music Caravan. Free Zoom from 10 to 10.30 a.m. June 9th through the public library. That, that did a rhyme thing too. Aren't we running out of time? There's so much to do every day of the week. In, in Schenectady, when it is art and, and fun that, that you seek. For more info, go to downtownschenectady.org. Every kid deserves super health care, awesome health care. That means every kid deserves great health insurance. Child Health Plus from MVP Healthcare. Starting as low as $0 a month, featuring $0 copays, plus dental and vision coverage, a smart choice for kids and you. Child Health Plus from MVP. Learn more and see if you qualify today. Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. Hey guys. We have craft activities. Really simple. Anybody can do it. With supplies that you probably have at home. And patience. See that darkness. Twirl in the shirt. See the little gradient that I got. I hope you have fun. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Casey and I work at the Albany Barn. Uh, part of what we do at the barn is to work with community organizations to help bring um, art, easily accessible art and projects to the um, greater community. So that means um, we spend a lot of time visiting local elementary schools or we go to um, community events or block parties and set up a table and, and do crafts with the kids that come. Um, so we have a lineup of craft activities um, at the ready at all times pretty much um, that are really easy to do and uh, fun to do with kids that don't really require any special supplies. Most of what you'll need you can find right at your home. So with all of us being at home right now uh, I wanted to to share a couple of those crafts with you uh, in the hopes that you can round up some supplies at home and have a little bit of fun with your kids um, if you are going a little stir crazy or maybe just looking for something fun to do for art class or just a fun activity um, on a otherwise you know dull afternoon maybe <laughs> so um the first one i'm going to show you is how to make a uh, maraca so just a, a really simple musical instrument um, again using supplies that you can find at home so what you're going to need uh, are two plastic spoons you will also need a plastic Easter egg, and you might have some of those lying around from Easter. Uh, you need something small that you can fill the egg with that's going to make noise inside the egg when you shake it. Uh, I have a bag of lentils, which works great. Um, you can also use rice, or you can also use coffee beans. They're a little bit bigger, but it'll still give you the same effect. So you wanna have something like that. Um, you'll need scissors. And lastly, you will need duct tape. Um, I have just kind of a fun pattern duct tape, but really any kind of tape that you have at home will do. Um, if you don't have duct tape, you can probably use another kind of tape, uh, maybe painter's tape, but you might have to really kind of double or triple it. Um, but for this particular project, duct tape works great. So what you wanna do is open your egg and uh, you want to go into your bag of lentils or rice or whatever it is that you've decided to use 
and use one of your spoons just to kind of get about a spoonful worth and dump it into half of your egg. Uh, now the tendency with kids when you're doing this project is they want to fill the entire egg, um, but you don't want to do that. You want to just fit, put a little bit in, like I said, probably one spoonful worth. Um, so the lentils have space to move around once the egg is closed. So once you do that, you're going to shut your egg and you're going to take your two spoons and essentially kind of nestle the egg in the middle. So it looks something like that. This is going to be kind of the tricky part if you're doing this solo, but if you have kids, this is a great opportunity um, to tag team the project. So you want to get your tape and just kind of roll, um, roll out a piece about this big to start. And while your egg is nestled in your spoons, you just want to kind of put the tape on and then wrap it around so you secure those spoons to either side of your egg. You'll also see your um, handles have a tendency to do this when you start to wrap. So as you wrap, you just want to make sure you kind of keep them shut with one hand and then wrap the tape with the other. Uh, and you know, it's not going to go on smooth because of the shape of the egg, but that's okay. It's just kind of a fun um, you know, craft and it doesn't have to be perfect. So um, you can have your little one kind of smoosh down the tape um, to get it started. So that's what we've got so far. And then you just really want to keep covering your, um, your maraca with your tape. So now I'm gonna start a little bit lower, right about here, wrap it around the base, and then just swivel this around my uh, spoon handles. Again, they're, they're trying to flip out a little bit, so you just want to keep them together while you're taping them. So it's just a little bit comfier to hold when they're together. And again, just gonna smoosh your tape down as you go. Um, it'll probably take you four or five tape pieces to really cover up everything. Uh, like I said, again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, do your best to kind of cover at least all of the seams of the egg. So when this is being shaken, when it's all done, um, you're not, you know, at risk of this egg popping open and your lentils or your rice spilling out everywhere. So I just have a little bit left down here at the bottom. I'm going to tape that up like this. Again, just sort of rolling that tape around, smushing it down when you're done. And then you just want to give it one good last squeeze to make sure all of your edges are down and the tape is sticking to itself and to your spoon and your eggs. And that's it. You have a very easy to make maraca. So if you don't happen to have any Easter egg containers laying around, there are other ways to make maracas with simple household ingredients. And also, as you're gonna learn from Alex Torres, you can make different sounds with the maracas based on what you put in them. So just use an empty water bottle. And see, so these are just stones I picked up. And the stones go in, you put the lid on, that's one kind of maraca. Now, there's another, you can also, I think he's going to say you can use rice. You just take some extra rice, I might be a little bit messy here. Parents, you might want to help your kids and use a funnel, that's probably better. Look at me, look how messy I am. So this, notice how this sounds much different. And you can also mix things. These are some beans, some dried beans. And you just hit, put those in there and now here's a tip, tip too. Do you like sweet corn, but there's too much sweet corn? You can dry the sweet corn. It tastes good. Mmm, mmm, I love it. So, 
A lot of the gourds and maracas have dried corn in there. Look at how messy I am. All right, so you just put those in. And you'd be surprised. I think this one, this sounds the prettiest of all the maracas. There's also very, very small beans. You can use anything in a container. These are actually not beans. These are called lentils. Lentils come in different colors. I think that one sounds pretty too. So you can make your own maracas with, uh, and you don't have to use tape. You just you make sure to save the lid. And you can make music all summer long. We will be making these at Kids Arts Festival September 25th, if it's raining, September 26th in downtown Schenectady. Hope to see you then. for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, now go kids, go now, don't you, don't forget to wear your mask, you can go anywhere, don't forget to wear your mask, you can wash your hands, cover your face, go anywhere, do anything, don't forget, what's that, wear your mask, oh yeah, you can do anything, but don't forget to wear your mask. All right, Kermit, can you play for me? All right, here we go. That hurts. I know, sometimes it does. Ouch, 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 ouch. No, I don't have to play, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, don't forget to wear your mask. One more time. Hey, wash your hands, cover your face. You can go any place, but don't forget, don't forget to wear your mask. You can do anything, but don't forget to wear your mask. All right. Thank you, Kermit. All right, now, Kermit, you know, I don't know if you noticed it, but there's a lot of rainbows out there. That's right. Why are there rainbows all over the place? Well, a lot of the kids drew them and put them in the windows. I know they did. What do they mean? Well, joy, hope, and basically, be happy. That's great. Hey, listen, for this one, because it's just the two of us, and we do live together, we can take our masks off. You think it's safe? Yeah, it's safe. Just the two of us. We're home alone, right? We just us. But when you go out, you always wash your hands and you always wear your mask. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna let you take your mask off. <sighs> You like that? Yeah, it's kind of nice. All right. All right, now I'm gonna take mine off too. And we're gonna do a special song about rainbows. Oh, I like that one. All right, here we go. Why are there so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side, don't you know? No. Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. Rainbows have nothing to hide So we've been told and some choose to believe it I know they're wrong, wait and see Oh yeah? Yeah, 
Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Here we go. What are you doing? Dancing. Oh. <laughs> Who said that every wish would be heard and answered me? One wished on a morning star. I did. Somebody thought of that me, and some have believed it me. Look what it's done so far. What's so amazing that keeps us start gazing? And what do you think we might see? I don't know. Me! Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. All of us under its spell. We know that it's probably magic. Have you been half asleep? And have you heard voices? I heard them calling my name. Is this the sweet sound that calls the young sailors? The voice might be one and the same. I heard it too many times to ignore it. It's someplace that I'm supposed to be. Where's that, Kermit? Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. La da 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 da. Kermit the Frog! Yay! All right, Kermit, put your mask back on. Oh, yeah, right. I'm going out now to play. I gotta, gotta put my mask on. All right, put it on. There you go. That good? That's good. Did you wash your hands? Yep. Good. Bye, everybody. <gasps> Speaking about speeches, did you hear that the Kids Art Festival is going to be this September? Yeah. Did you know that Mommy and Boba is going to sponsor another essay contest? Yeah! Kids can win a Chromebook. We can't, but somebody else can. Really? How? By writing about anything with all this change has been for the better. Change? You mean like pennies, nickels, and dimes? No, it's after a year of COVID and how much our lives have changed. You mean like not getting to play mini golf, not going to swim lessons, I don't think that's better. Yeah, but you have to think about the better things. Like, if it weren't for coronavirus, we wouldn't have gotten tests. It, uh, yeah, you're right. Test is great. Okay, how long do we have to write this essay? Until September 1st. So we have all summer. That's a long time. Okay, but we can, like, really win a combo? Yeah. Well, we can't. But some kids can. At Stewart Shops, we work with local family farms to bring you the freshest milk possible. Our emphasis has always been on making the highest quality product we can produce. It's always fresh. It's always local. From the farm to your table in 48 hours or less. I have two daughters and it's very important for me to know that what I'm giving to my children is safe and beneficial for them. Trust Stewart Shops for your fresh, local milk. Hey, kids of all ages. The only thing better than music is free music. And Jazz on Jay returns in downtown Schenectady June 10th. It'll be every week except July 1st. And it's all free, thanks to sponsors like these. Hope to see you there. Hello! Walk right in, sit right down. Come on, let your mind roll along. Walk right in, sit right down. Come on, let your mind roll on. Everybody's talking about a new way of walking. Do you want to sing along? Walk right in, sit right down. Baby, let your hair hang down. Walk right in, sit right down. Baby, let your hair hang down. Everybody's talking about a new way of walking. Do you want to sing along? Do you want to sing along?
Our summer reading program this year will be hosted through the Beanstack app. The challenge will be to log and read 10 hours and also complete 10 activities. Each week, every branch will have raffle prize winners and you will also have a chance to win our big raffle prize baskets at the end of the summer. We are excited to announce that this summer we will be offering a blend of outdoor, in-person live programming and continuing to offer our virtual programs. Our Event Keeper page on our website, www.scpl.org, and our Facebook group, SCPL Youth and Families, are the best ways to stay up to date on what is happening. We will be hosting programs in park pavilions throughout Schenectady County. Registration will be required for all in-person events. We will be following COVID-19 safety regulations and social distancing protocols. More exciting news is that our in-person story times will also resume in a pop-up format this summer. Times and locations will be posted on social media and Event Keeper 24 to 48 hours in advance. Space will be limited and registration will be required. If you don't feel comfortable attending in-person events quite yet, we will still be hosting virtual programs online every week. Our virtual programs this summer will follow the summer reading theme of Tales and Tales. Each program will be a virtual visit with different zoos and aquariums, featuring sharks, whales, rainforest animals, and much more. We will also be offering live teen programming online, which includes a teen writing camp, cooking classes, and a pokey quest complete with games and art themed activities. Lastly, we will continue distributing our grab and go steam kits this summer. There will be five different kits available at all nine locations. Kits will be available on a first-come, first-served basis, and each kit will have everything you need to complete multiple fun STEAM activities at home. We are so excited to see you all this summer. Sign up, stop in, and participate in this year's summer reading program. Hi, welcome to Online Kids Arts Fest 2020. My name is Alex Torres. And of course, I'm the band leader of the Alex Torres Lion Orchestra, located here in the Capital Region. Today, we're gonna to take you on a tropical experience to learn all about the roots and rudiments of Afro-Caribbean music. Of course, we're gonna do this so that you at home can also hone your chops and get ready and practice so that when we get ready for next year, we can all do this outside. Okay, first I would like to introduce to you these two sticks. These two sticks are known as claves. Very simple, you can use your two hands at home or you can use two sticks, two spoons, whatever you have, okay? The idea is to play them in five beats. So, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. It's simple, except that we need to play it, syncopate it all the time, and it needs to be the same, okay? That's what you gotta practice. Now, the claves determine also the tempo, right? So if I speed it up, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, well, I can go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now, what happens is this, let's pretend that we're building a house this alone is our foundation. We will explain this to you more and you will see as we bring in the rest of the percussionists here with us today. Now, our next percussion instrument, these are called maracas. Now, what's interesting about maracas is maracas are a very personal instrument. So you say, what do you mean by that? Well, there's different types of maracas depending on what you include inside these shells. For example, if you play soft music, acoustic, you may want to just fill them with rice, okay? If you're looking to cut through louder instruments that are plugged in, you may want to use dry corn. So depending on your preference of texture of sound and what type of music you're playing, there are different types of maracas. Now, of course, the idea is to try to put whatever's inside of here to bang back and forth inside the shell. Because if not, we get this. 
and that's not cool. That's not the way the maracas are supposed to sound. We want them to sound like this. And short, so we switch hand in hand, a little bit faster, and of course, you can go one, two, one, two. Now, for those of you that know a little bit about music, just keep this on a quarter note, okay? And we just go back and forth. One and two, and one and two, and one and two, and one and two. Now, keep in mind that all the music you listen to, it doesn't make a difference. If you're listening to rock, if you're listening to funk music, if you're listening to Dixie, if you're listening to rap, if it's got a drum, its origins are in Africa and it spreads all over the world, which is pretty good. So that's like a good 98% of the music that's out there has its roots in Africa. Now the next instrument we're going to showcase is known as the guiro. Now, guiro essentially just means gourd. And of course, this was a plastic gourd, because if we use real gourds, which we do, they're very fragile, and if you drop them, well, there goes the end of that gourd. Even if it gets a little hailing fracture, it's no good, okay? This is known as a Cuban-style guiro. Why? Because the top is cut off, and it's got these wide gashes, these wide gashes, and it's played with a stick. It's got that synonymous uh, sound almost to like a bullfrog, right? So you got, you know, ribbit. Pretty cool, huh? No frogs in there, I promise. We're not hurting frogs during the taping of the show. So anyway, this is what we do. Like when we're doing a cha-cha. One, two, cha-cha-cha. down and up. So it's up, up, down, up. Up, up, down, up. And then repeat it. Okay? Pretty cool, huh? All right. Next, we're going to show you a member of the band, Miguel Santiago, who plays on the bongos. And we're going to showcase to you what bongos are and how they are correctly played along with the tambora. Bongos are two round drums attached in the center by a piece of wood. They are held between the knees, the inside of the knees. Keep in mind that you need to sit at the edge of a seat when you play bongos because it will be very hard if you sit at the back of the seat. It will probably be almost impossible to do unless you got really, really long legs. Okay. Now, the small drum is known as the male drum or el macho. It's the high-pitched drum. The lower drum, which is the bigger drum of the two, is known as la hembra or the female drum. The bongo player or bongocero basically plays with his fingertips and the inside of his thumb. And here's an example of the bongo pattern known as martillo. The bongo player uses the bongos also to do repiques. basically are some added rolls and it sounds like it may be offbeat but it's actually talking to the other percussionists which is pretty interesting. Now the function of the bongo during a section of the music that's known as the mambo section, not to be confused with the mambo's dance, is utilizing the cowbell or el sencerro. This is the pattern of a sencerro. And you will see this in action in just a few minutes. Now, in our band, we also have Miguel playing 
the instrument called tambora drum that was brought to the Dominican Republic and the island of Hispaniola. And it is a two-headed drum that was from the Dahomey tribe. That was their contribution. This barrel of a drum sits on the lap of the tamborero. One side is struck with the hand. The other side is struck with the stick. Utilizing also the rim of the drum. This pattern is for use in a rhythm called merengue, which is a very happy rhythm from the Dominican Republic. Here's a merengue típico en tambora. Next, we like to bring in our next percussionist, Mr. Angel Dueño. These are called timbales. Looks like a drum set, of course, right? Different type of drum set with wide rim shells, but we notice there's no kick drum. Well, in typical fashion, in a salsa band, the timbal player, which is the timbalero, strikes the timbales and the shells, and this is known as Cascara. Now, the timbal player's function, of course, is to play along with the rest of the percussionist with the cascara. But remember the two sticks I showed in the beginning, the clave, right? He's got an onboard clave. He also has a cha cha bell. He also has a mambo bell. And of course, the drum heads themselves, el macho is the high pitched drum. The low pitched drum is the female drum. And he's got a cymbal. All right. Now, here's an example of clave and cowbell on the timbales. Next, we're going to turn over to Mr. Tad Fabozzi, who will be showcasing the congas. Thank you, Alex. So yes, my name is Tad Fabozzi. I've been playing with the Alex Torres Orchestra for quite a long time and playing drums for quite a long time. So I started when I was 10 years old, and I'm 57 now. So you can do a math problem there. What's 57 minus 10? That tells you how many years that I've been playing drums which is 47 years, so that's a long time. I haven't been playing congas that whole time. I started out on drum set, and, and a lot of you have seen drum set, but you have to understand that the drum set rhythms that, are, that one plays are related to these African rhythms that we play on the congas. And the congas are an instrument that's very special because you've got to be somewhat of a tough guy to play congas because you're going to hit them with your hands. There's no sticks, and so it's going to be just you and the drum. And so there's a variety of sounds that we can get from this drum. And just to talk about the drum first before I show it, the head on this drum is made of animal skin. In this case, it's a, it's a treated cow skin, and the shell of the drum is wood, and then there's metal that holds the, the head on, and there are screws in which I use a tool to be able to tune it, to turn it lower or higher or loosen things up. And there's a variety of sounds that you can get from this drum. So let me just show you um, the first set of sounds, which are called heel tip sounds, in which you just do this kind of action. And if you want to play congas, you got to practice doing this. And sometimes you have to practice doing this for a long, long time and doing it with both hands, because then you can start to create drum rolls with this technique. That's the first sound that you get, is this action of the palm of your hand and the tip of your fingers. 
The next sound is a slap sound. And that's a sound that um, is combined with the fingers uh, on the other hand to create this kind of a sound. And then the other sound that we get, of course, is the open tone, in which this part of your hand hits, your fingers come off the drum, and you let the drum ring out. And of course, there are muffled tones, and there's other kinds of slaps, but that's the standard sounds that we get, and we put them together in the typical salsa rhythm that goes like this. I'm playing it at a slow tempo, which is more like a cha-cha-cha, but we can speed that up. As Alex noted, when we play along with the clave, we can go faster, we can go slower, and it almost sounds like a different sound or a different song. Now, uh, the drum that I'm playing is called a quinto. This other drum is called the tumbadora. And so we can combine the two drums together into this rhythm. show you a couple other rhythms that we often play in the band. One is called a plana, and it's, it's a, a style that you play with panderettas. They're, they're like um, uh, cylinder drums without the long uh, shell, and you play them in groups of three. And a lot of the style that we do play comes from African styles in which individuals play their own drum. So in other words, one person would be playing this drum, another person would be playing this drum. But I just want to show you the, the, the style of playing it. Sometimes we play a style called Roomba. Now, rumba is generally a group of more than two drums. It's typically three or four, and each player plays their own rhythm. So one player might be doing a rhythm like this. And another player might be doing this. And a third player may be playing uh, a solo style along with it, improvising. But when we combine them together, when there's only one drummer, we'll, we will do it like this. Gentlemen. Thank you, Todd. Now we're gonna go into a little cha-cha mode, okay? So we can feature the guido, and of course the cha-cha bell, and the style that Todd's gonna play on the congas, and also Miguel and Bongo. And it goes like this. One, two, cha-cha.
now we're going to feature a salsa style. Now, some of you are saying, you keep saying salsa. For those of you that do not know salsa, well, let's change the word to English, right? Salsa sauce. Sauce. Well, it's a... Um, when we make sauce, right, or your parents or grandparents make sauce, uh, we start off with the base, which is usually tomato, right? But if it's a different type of sauce, then whatever the base is. In our case, the base is the clave, which we're going to show you in a bit how we all come in on this, using the clave. But what happens? Some people like a lot of garlic. That may be this. Some people... We we'll want more basil, then we can add the maracas, for example. Um, somebody, somebody may want some habaneros or jalapenos. At that case, then we'll add more conga rolls or whatever. So not everybody's salsa is the same. So while there are many salsa bands, um, very, they'll play the style, but they have different instrumentation, which is a different ingredients, you know, more pepper, more salt, whatever. So you get the idea, right? So. This is for you to do at home, is figure out all these fun instruments and try to find out which is your favorite ingredient. That's gonna be cool, okay? So we're gonna, before we're gonna do that, I'm gonna show you on the clave, the beginning of a salsa clave. Remember the five hits? We're gonna do that right now. And we're gonna bring in just the conga with the clave so we can actually see what's going on. So here's an example, and he'll already know where we're going with this. speed up the tempo, we're going to bring the guido back in, and each of our percussionists will take a solo. You guys ready? So this is the ad lip part. This is where uh, the musician uh, can show off the instrument, the capabilities of the instrument, the different textures and sounds, and also the music that they're feeling. So no matter what you do, it's all good. We want you to go home and stay home and do what you have to do, but practice. Practice. That's how you get to practice theater. Practice, practice, practice. That's right. Okay. So now, you guys ready? Bow it all. Oh no! Oh no!
um, but you don't have a drum, well, I'm going to show you how just using an empty container like this oatmeal box and some tape. So you just put the tape on the open side and you need to make sure that every part is covered. Now you packing tape if you don't know what that is, ask your parents. That's the best tape for this, but since we weren't sure if everybody would have it, we're just using regular old tape. You get the idea. When it's all covered, you have to make sure every little hole is covered. It's nice and tight. Then you have a drum. You can play, play along with Alex Torres. Send us pictures of your drum. You know, you could decorate the outside. Send us pictures of your drum on, on Facebook. Schenectady Kids Arts Festival. You can find us, follow us on Facebook. You can watch these videos all summer long. Enjoy. Make your own music. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Practice, 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 so you can be on stage with me and my band during the Kids Arts Fest 2021 on Saturday, September 25th. Don't forget about it. We hope you had as much fun watching this episode as we did making it for you. And it's all free thanks to these sponsors.